In this video, I'm going to talk about intercellular junctions. And so what intercellular junctions are, are their connections between one cell and another cell. And almost all cells are anchored to each other or their matrix by intercellular junctions. And some, there are only two types of cells that are not, and those cells are blood and metastatic cancer cells. Additionally, intercellular junctions help cells resist stress and allows them to communicate with each other. And so there are, we're going to talk about three different types of intercellular junctions because there are only three types. And there are tight junctions, desmosomes, and gap junctions. And so let's take a look at a picture so you can see it a little better. And so first, we're going to talk about tight junctions. And tight junctions are a region in which adjacent cells are bound together by through the fusion of the phospholipid layers of the plasma membrane. And so pretty much what that means is that tight junctions prevent materials from passing between cells. So the purpose of tight junctions is to limit what passes between cells, and this is pretty important. And so next, let's talk about what desmosomes are. And so desmosomes are essentially patches that hold cells together. And so the purpose of desmosomes are to essentially keep cells from pulling apart. And it resists in other words, it resists mechanical stress. However, one thing to remember is that they do not prevent substances from passing between cells, so they don't have the same function as tight junctions. And finally, desmosomes are most commonly found in the epidermis, the epithelia, and cardiac muscle. And so as you can see down here, Desmosomes are circled right there. I drew the red arrow pointing to it, and so you could kind of see what it looks like. And so finally, let's talk about gap junctions, the last one. And so gap junctions are made up of six transmembrane proteins arranged in a ring. And so as you can see down here in the diagram of the gap junction, it kind of forms a water-filled pore in the middle, so a space that materials can pass through. So this pore allows things such as ions, glucose, amino acids, and other solutes to pass from cell to cell. And then when cells are excited, gap junctions can also allow ions to rapidly flow between cells. And so that pretty much sums it up for intercellular junctions. There are three of them, tight junctions, desmosomes, and gap junctions. And so I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.